is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. This is Kevin. Welcome, Scribblers. Tuesday, and it's 10-18, October 18th, 2022. Welcome, everybody. We'll get started here in a little bit. Same old uh, waiting for everybody to get on. Everybody's fashionably late. They just come in. They usually start coming in about one minute after and really start hitting it. We got a good crowd tonight, but always, as always, people start coming in. But welcome, everybody. Glad to have you here. If you're brand new, which I do see some brand new people here that I have not seen, welcome. Uh, this is Kevin, and we're going to be training you on Scribble and kind of getting you going. And we know why you're here. You guys pick the best software. I love Scribble. I truly love Scribble. I've used it, um, the, you know, the, the story goes back when I first bought it, within four days I had a sale of 2700 bucks, and that's true. I, I don't know what happened to me. I wish it happened to me every minute of every day because I'd be a very rich man. But actually, something just hit in me, and I knew I could sell it, and uh, sure enough, I did. And then after that, I actually was able to create a few more uh, books and sold them again and made a little over 10 k using Scribble. So it does work. And I have proof of it. I wrote some books on it and did things like that. And they're not normal books. All they were was how to and kind of um, manuals for equipment that people that companies had out there. So it was nothing great. It was just something that I could do that I knew that it would work. And sure enough, it did. So tonight, we'll go over that a little bit too. We're, we're going to go over how to monetize what you guys are doing. Because, of course, you guys bought Scribble to earn money. At least 99% of you. I can guarantee you that. And, you know, your goal is, of course, to find that niche and go forward and make it happen. And that's why I'm here is to help you out. I'm really dead set on helping you guys get to the next level. It just really, um, you know, it gets my blood going just knowing that anybody and everybody can start earning money online. And the best money to earn is online, with no doubt. If you had a retail store downtown and there was a lot of traffic, you know, you'd probably do well. But still, an online store will, would beat the store in, in a downtown. If you market it right and you do it correctly, you know, the online retail would beat the, beat the, the location of the building anytime. And I've seen that over and over. I've been marketing for well over 20 years. And I've marketed just about on every platform from Amazon to eBay to Etsy to Shopify. And we've done well in most of them. And actually, all of them we did well. The one that really wasn't the best, and I have to admit, was Shopify. And it's a great platform, but it's been years since. Um, we're using it again, but it's been years. And the reason Shopify didn't work as well as some of the other ones is, you know, Amazon, Etsy, and some of these have their own internal marketing platforms where you go in there use their advertising to send traffic to your to your products and sure enough you do get sales right away ebay ebay's a kind of a, a lonely um a lonely you know fellow it's just it sits out there but no matter what you put on ebay it sells ebay is not you know i don't consider it the best by any means but if you have something out there it sells so my idea for a lot of you guys that are on tonight is if you're going to write something, if you want to write a book, you know, and you want a, a good story, go for it. Because we have some great and talented people within the Scribble business here. Some of our members are phenomenal. Um, so good. So I, I can't even say enough. Last week we had the hot seat um, and we had, you know, Tracy came in there. And Tracy is wonderful. Tracy is actually one of our best. Tracy's from the great state of California. And uh, she is wonderful. She, she does a great job. Then, of course, we have Lynn. Lynn does a lot of writing and helping with the team. So, you know, my hat's off to, to those. And we have some new people coming in and really helping out, too. Now, if you're brand new, we do have the collaboration software. And we have an email. And, and write this down if you're brand new. It's scribblebookteam at gmail. Scribblebookteam at gmail.com. And we have a collaboration book. I always have to say this. If you guys want to be part of the collaboration book, we're writing a ghost story. And we're up, I think we're over 150 pages right now. Um, and you guys can come in there and write a page, write a paragraph, get started. And you can really see what other people are doing and get it going. And Adil, our fearless leader, is the main character within the story. And good old Lynn went in there 
and she set up the characters and she set up the format and she did she did pretty much everything within the system so i'm going to give her credit i'm not going to give myself credit here lynn is the one who really did the lion's share of getting everything set up so you know everybody give lynn cheers you know she's done a wonderful job i can't say enough about lynn she has really put her heart and soul into this. And of course, some of our team members that have put so many pages into the book. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I can't say enough. But, you know, like I said, my job here is to get you guys motivated, pumped, show you how the tools work and get you guys going. Because when I jump into anything here, um, you know, my, my focus is really to to. Uh, is really to monetize it and make it happen. Okay, I'm seeing someone here saying, Idea is such a character. You think? No, Adil is just a mellow dude. He is just relaxed. You know, he's like sedated. He's the complete opposite. The, the guy's a wild man. He truly is. Thank you, Beth. Yes, he surely is a character. And that's why I like Adil. He's young. He's, he's go, go, go. And he's smart. Um, I used to write software years ago, had a team of programmers similar to what Adil did, but our software back in the day was well over 10 years ago. We worked hard. We made millions of dollars. We did okay. Um, but today, the software programmers and the, the software in general is, is a thousand times better. And so what Adil has put together with Scribble and he has Presenter, he has so many other products. They are so good. They're my favorite tools. I love Scribble. I love Presenter. And I use other tools, too. There's no doubt about it. You always will hear me say Snagit because Snagit will capture an image and it will let me edit it and it will let me put arrows on it. And, you know, I've used it for well over a decade. And um, you only have to pay once for Scribble, just like or not for Scribble, for Snagit. Well, Scribble, too, of course, and Presenter. I like that. You don't have to keep repaying and you have your tools. Your tools will make you all the money. And the reason is you have to be the one that works the tools, but the tools, once they take effect and once you do something um, and you write a, a, you know, a book or a PDF, or whatever, it's out there forever and it will keep continuing to make you money. I remember a deal told me and he's you guys have heard him on the webinars and he's told me directly. It's really nice when you make something and you get paid year after year after year. That is true residual income. So where you guys are at right now. Is really a good platform is really a good place because think about it when you put something written it can last the test of time and you know we really need to go to the next levels as we're doing this we all need to get you know get our heads together and think of other ways that we can monetize these systems and that's where I'm at right now I'm really digging deep and I found some really great things that are working for me um, I always say the holy grail but I can't say that till I test it for at least 60 days. And if it works really well for about 60 days, um, then I come in and then I'll say, look what I'm doing. And I'm testing something right now that looks very, um, it, it's unbelievable. And of course I'm using Scribble and I'm using Presenter to be able to put the products and the different things that I'm doing. Now products can be an ebook, products can be a, a widget, products can be anything. And what I really want to tell you guys is you guys are truly innovators because by coming in here and buying Scribble, you're not the norm. You're not going out there and saying, hey, I can learn how to email market and make it big. And email marketing is great. I, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying a lot of the programs out there you see from ClickBank and you see from JVZoo and all these great programs coming out of it. But the ones I chose were the ones from a deal because I know what I need to make it happen. I need good content and I need good tools and I need to be able to put it in such a way where it's going to better everybody else. And sure enough, that's what Scribble and Presenter has done for me. And I'm going to continue on with it too. And, and if you've never built pages and things like that, it's easy. Just learn how to do the tools and you guys will be able to... Um, you guys will be able to go forward and be able to do it yourself. It really is something that that is too easy here. I want you guys to all think of something here. You guys are not just, you know, you just you didn't just buy Scribble. I want you to change, go on, go on about face here. You didn't just buy Scribble just to write a book. And then, you know, and then you look at the tool and you're thinking, God, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? What am I going to do? First of all, we have to find a niche. And. You know, one of the ideas I want to put forward to you guys tonight and, and for the tools is 
find a niche. One of the best niches is find a local business in your in your hood, you know, in your town, in your city. You know, a little I always say the little cafe, you know, coffee shops, this and that, or a restaurant or a business or whatever. I can guarantee you 90% of them don't have a YouTube channel, which is, you know, that is first grade education. You can go get a YouTube channel anytime and do it, but most people don't. And you can put any video you want because now we have Scribble. And if you have Presenter, you can go with Scribble and Presenter. You just go a little bit further. But you can actually be able – you're able to use these tools and actually um, be able to, to use these for the different businesses out there. So I really want you guys to think of a niche, think of a business. And if you need some help, I want you to bring it to the, to the webinars here. And I can help you guys out live while we're on. If we have to go a little bit longer in some of the calls, but I want you guys to think hard here because do you want to make some money? Because what I'm going to do for you is if you guys find a little restaurant or cafe and you say, I don't know how to go about it, but I would like to do this for this business, whatever business, and bring it to the table and I'll help you out. I'll come in here and I'll show you what you need to do to make it work. Most of the time they're going to say yes. And let's say you only make 100, 200, 300 bucks. That's fine. I go, you know, I've gone for some bigger companies and I've made thousands. I made, like I said, 2,700 that first week. And that's not an anomaly. I'd like to say it's an anomaly. It was just that I was really set up well. I hit it hard and it, and it worked. And, you know, what am I going to say? Am I going to say, oh, I was lucky? Yeah, you know, I, I don't even like to say luck. I just did it. It's not saying I'm great or anything like that. I just did it. And if someone like me can do it, anybody can do it because I'm not that highly skilled. I can play with the tools. I can mess with them. Um, you know, I can do all that. And, and like I said, we have members here within the group that are so much better than I ever could be with the writing, their formats, and what you guys are doing. My hat's off. So, you know, we all learn from each other. So what I'd really like you guys to do is take, get out of the back seat, kick the driver out and get in the driver's seat and start thinking above and beyond. You guys really need to do something um, a little more here. And the reason I say that, um, you guys really need to do something that's that that's gonna monetize. You guys didn't buy Scribble just to sit there and play with it. And if you run into a problem, ask a question here. Hey, I'm having a problem with my niche. What should I start with? You know. That's fine. Let us know if you need some help. We we won't mention your name or, you know, we can we will we won't even mention your niche if you don't want us to, but we could help you out. But I do want to tell you one thing. Try to find a niche that you can monetize. Don't do something where you're not going to be able to monetize it online. You know, it's like a you know, I, I always go with the analogies because I've I've worked all around the world. And it's like I was in the desert one time, and this is true. I was in the desert one time, and there was a um, a blade a blade sharpening service in the middle of the desert. You know, and here I am. I'm looking at the business. I'm looking around, and I see something. You know, my friends are with me. We're like, now what is that business doing here? There's not a tree in sight, but someone has a blade sharpening, you know, business in the middle of nowhere. It's like one another time I saw an upholstery shop on a lake that was way up in the mountains, away from everybody, 50, 60 miles, nobody in sight, and they had an upholstery business on the lake in their house. Now, you know, you gotta think smart. You gotta think where what am I gonna do to make to monetize it and make things happen? So when I say monetize too, what I'm saying is when you have your niche, your niche being I wanna I wanna do a um a small little advertisement for the cafe or the coffee shop in town or the restaurant. What you would do is you would see if they have a website. If they have a website, you would go in there and you would you would take some of the pictures that they have. You can easily take pictures with some of the tools that we have. Easy. And you always want to get a picture of the employees. You want to try to get a picture of the owners, of course. You want to get a picture of the restaurant or the cafe or the or the insurance company or whatever you're doing. Steal and take as much content as you can. Then we twist it up within Scribble and Presenter. That's what I did with the company out of China. They sold equipment. They sold plastics. And I've been in the plastics industry for a long time. It's just one of the things I do. Online's my big deal. But I do sell plastics on the side and, and I, you know, 3D printing and the big machines and things like that. Um, you know, I do that. So, so, of course, I have knowledge of it. But I didn't know all these other machines that these companies have. 
you know, the, the, the companies. So I just went for it and just took the company, took the employees, took pictures of them, wrote about them, threw a lot of pictures in there and just did bullet points underneath the pictures, formatted the pictures left, right, up, down, different sizes, made it all pretty, took it to the owner. Sure enough, within four days, they said yes. Within the week, I had money in my account wired from through Hong Kong to my account, and boom. I did another one out of Tennessee for $3,500, and they paid me right away. I did another one for them, and it would, all I did was a pamphlet and a book about their business, and I made a YouTube channel for them, and I created a Gmail, a free Gmail account, because you, most of the time, if the business is named Kathy's um, hot dog stand, you can go to Google and usually get Kathy's hot, hot dog stand at gmail.com. Just an example. So you guys, when we're doing this, you really want to think outside the box. I always come back to this because it's one of the easiest ways to get your blood going and kind of get motivated and make some money and, um, you know, get you started. And I know it may be outside your box and maybe it's something you don't want to do. That's fine. Then get in, dig in and start writing your book, put your chapters together and, and dig in. Don't let it go. Keep going. And what I always tell people, it takes two hours to three. It takes at least two hours. You got to go in there and you're going to, you're not going to know what in the heck you're doing. Throw some chapters down, throw anything on the first chapter, like the bird was in the sky. And then the next one, the fish jumped in the pond in the lake and blah, blah, blah. And then start writing about it. Start writing whatever you're doing. You're going to find yourself starting being being creative and you're going to change the head, the chapter one. You know, you're going to change the whole heading. You're going to change chapter two. But that's the way you start. It happens to me all the time. And after 20 some years um, and you, you'll put you could be doing it different. But I know for 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 me, I have to get started to get the mind circulating and getting things going. I got to tell you, every single one of us have genius levels within us we just don't use them or we don't push ourselves i mean the 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 dumbest person out there can do more than we could ever imagine if they just put their mind to it i mean you know it it's just it really gets me when i think about people sitting around and most people do but most people that have came in and bought scribble you guys are like i said it it you have to be different because what i saw in scribble you saw in scribble and it's not for the for the naive. You guys, my, my hat's off to you. You came in, you, you bought a great product, and now you're going for it. So if you guys have any questions too, I can answer any questions, you know, on other stuff. I have some, I have a question here. Let me see if I can read it here. Um, how can I create a package as a download, for example, an ebook with checklists and mind maps? Okay, now that's cool. That's a great, great question. So we have one of our members saying, I have a question. How can I create a package as I download and in an ebook with checklist and mini maps? So, so this is cool. What you would go into is Scribble, and let's just say you want to create a package for somebody. Now, this is cool too because there there is so many different ways you guys can do this. When you guys start going a little bit, if you want to really push the envelope as we go forward, we need to teach you how to do some autoresponders. We have an autoresponder within the system, but we you're going to need something a little bit more robust once you really want to start getting the leads and doing stuff, if that's what you want to do. Um, but if you want to create a package, you would go in there and you would say, okay, you'd show chapter one. Uh, this is what you're going to get in the package. You know, you're going to get this. Chapter two, you're going to get this. Um and then you want to start doing like on page six, this is the checklist. And then you want to show, you know, what the mind maps is all about. So you want to put it together and throw, throw the chapters in first, then go down to your second page, third page, whatever, start putting stuff together. And you're going to be amazed how you're going to rework the pages. You're going to put stuff on page two, and then you're going to pull it and you're going to put it in page four. You're going to put different stuff and you're going to start formatting what you're doing as a checklist. But, Personally, what I would do is put the bullets. We have a, you know, in the tools, you can put bullets, little round circles next to it, which would be your checklist. And then maybe you would have a picture of your mind maps right below it, or however that's form formatted. You would do that. And that's kind of cool. And then you would give examples. You want to give examples. You never really want to sell somebody um, hard. At the first moment, you never really want to do that. You want to make it like a four part series. And I do this a lot. You always want to, you know, talk to them and you want to explain to them the pain you're in. What what 
what what happened to me? How did I get started and how did I start making money? And what were some of the trouble things that I ran into? Like, you know, I couldn't write. I had brain fog. I couldn't do it. Finally, I, you know, second, third day I was getting into it and I did it uh, by the by the third or fourth week. I had something down. And then by the fifth week, I actually was able to get out there and start marketing. No, I didn't sell anything for the first month or two. But boy, that that, you know, that third month, I hit it hard and sold three or four books. You got to give people what has really happened to you. Show them who you are. Show them show them internally who you are from the heart. And then they're going to connect with you. And then don't don't always sell them on the first page or the second page. Just kind of give a little bio, never more than five minutes worth. You know, so if you're writing, don't give more than five minutes. Don't get too in too detailed. And then start jumping in and start giving a little bit more of of where you're going. By around the fourth, you know, fourth page or whatever you're doing, you can start giving them ideas on what they can do uh, to figure out their problem, their solution. So whatever you're doing, it's the same format. Like, like I just said, if you want to sell a restaurant or you want to sell something else, you want to kind of give them something, how you're going to help them figure out their solution. Like most businesses don't have any presence online. You're going to give them a YouTube channel. You're going to give them a Gmail. You're going to do a quick video, a flipbook video. You're going to do a PDF form, and they're going to see this on, on YouTube. Easily, you guys, I, I can show you how to do a, a flipbook. And then you can record it also, flip the book, and now they have a live video online about their business. Hey, this is look at look at look at what they have on their menu and this and that, or their coffees or their insurance business or whatever. But you have to get into a person's brain and you have to be able to you have to be able to get into where they're at. You have to convince them you've and you have, you've been there where they have been. Now, if you're you've never had the success rate. This is how you're going to build it up to have the success rate. You truly are. Um, okay, another question. You're thinking about having separate files and then downloads and zip them up. Yeah, that's a great idea. That is a great idea. And a lot of times, guys, if you do a funnel or you do something, it's easy to put a page together and then say, always just say you want their first name and email. Don't ask for any more. Not at first, because if you ask for first and last name and phone number, they're not going to opt in. First name. Email is usually the deal. Once you capture them, then you can start playing with autoresponders and automations. And I, we can teach all that. It's easy. It, it, you know, you're going to go, yeah, yeah, right, Kevin. It's easy. It is. We just, you just got to do it a couple of times and then it becomes simple. But a, but a good thing to do is when you're trying to market something, tell people if they opt in, they're going to get a free ebook. They're going to get a free ebook. Imagine that. You're going to get an ebook on how to market or how to, find the right niche, how to choose it carefully, how to monet okay, how to make money. I always say monetize and I'm sorry about that. How to make money, how to make cash, baby, how to bring it to you. And you need to do that. Give things away. Give little ebooks away if you're trying to market something. I don't care if you're selling your your retail business or if you're selling, like I said, widgets and this and that. Try to give something away to enhance a person to give you, you know, their email and first name. It does work. It works a lot. I do that a lot, give stuff away, and it works phenomenally. So believe me, that scribble to me, that is like a key component of what you can use in this. Okay, let me see. I have another question. Let me see. Um, okay, I'll try to get to all these, you guys. Okay, how, how many people are here for the first time? We got a good crowd. I'm just trying to see everybody who's been here for the first time. Okay. Oh, yeah. All righty. We've got. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. I do. All right. Okay. Yeah, we got more. Okay. Okay, I'm back here. <laughs> just trying to read everything as I'm going forward. So what we need to do is you guys need. This is one of the jobs I want to give you guys. You guys really need to pick a niche. Let me know if you're going to write a story and you want it to be fiction, nonfiction, or you want to help a business out and set up their YouTube channel. I've already trained on this, but we'll do it again. And I've done videos on it with the group before. And I've showed you what I did with the company out of China. I targeted the owners. I targeted their employees. I took pictures, to stole pictures from their website because I couldn't go to China. Put it on the very front page. Bang. Sold. 
that I knew that would work and it sure enough it did. So you always want to put the employees and the owners close to the first pages so people can see that and they feel good about, about it. You want to try to create a video too. Pictures are good and you can do pictures in a video. You can have still pictures, but we run a video around it. We do a live shot kind of around it and we'll show you that we can do there's a lot of software out there where you can throw the pictures in there and then it will do the spinning and all that stuff and the you know it of course presenter does it on steroids if you if you have presenter and uh, we can show you some of those tricks down the road but right now we're doing scribble so i just want to kind of let you know that okay we have um okay oh wow and put them in an autoresponder but never sell them on a website Yes, yes. Um, you're going to make more. You see, if you put 80 ebooks on, this is a good question too. Someone says, okay, I have 80 ebooks and I want to put them in an autoresponder. And, you know, and I, you probably have a website, things like that. A website will never make you a dime. I want to repeat that. A website will never make you a dime unless you have an autoresponder or you have a technique where you're going to drive traffic. How many emails do you guys get a day from other businesses that email you? Most of them, 90%. How else do, how else do they reach you? You know, you don't have pigeons flying to your window. It, it is an autoresponder. So you really need to be able to market. If you want to go to the masses, you know, leads and autoresponders and things like that, they do work. Google AdWords, great leads, but spendy, costly. But let me tell you, I use Google on some of the businesses, and I know people that use Google that are much better than me, making 20, 30, 40, 50K a day. Really, they do. I, I'm not near that with, with people that are doing, I mean, some of these guys are just crushing it, as they would say in Australia. There's a gentleman I know from Australia that he always says, I'm crushing it. And that's just the Australian thing. And truly, he is. I mean, I've seen them make 50 grand a day, four or five days in a row, truthfully. But then it runs out after a week. But who cares? He's already made two, 300 grand. And then he goes forward and sets up another campaign. They usually last anywhere from a week to a month. But he redoes it and he's real good at it. And what they do is they're using videos with um, text. And that's pretty much it. You find a good video and you can use text and you can go with it. So as we go forward here and we're doing the PDFs and some of the different things, you guys can add videos in here with the video links. You know, we can put the URL so people can click elsewhere and do things. Um, but I want you guys to really think of some of the things you can do, like the flip book that we can do uh, in Scribble. You can do the flip book. You can do the, you know, the cover pages and things like that. Try to get a little unique with what you're doing. Take your time. The first month, Take your time. Get your book looking good. Then the second book will fly. The third book will fly. The whole idea here is numbers. You want to pump them out. You want to pump out three to five, you know, books or or um, you know presentations right away. And out of those five, one or two are going to hit it, and they're going to do very very well. Um, and, and, and so you just you know sometimes mass quantities works. Everybody says quality over quantity. Um, True in some aspects, but not always, not always, because sometimes when you when you pop the quantity, a good idea pops through and you would never know it. And then all of a sudden you start selling. I've seen it where in businesses you, 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 um, you know, you're struggling, you're struggling. And all of a sudden in one night you change a few words in, in the uh, the page of the website or the presentation of the funnel or whatever you're doing. And the next day you make, you know, a thousand bucks. I've seen it happen over and over again. Just when you think, you know, the online is not worth it, it'll amaze you and come back and just throw the best things towards you. So um, it's really up to all of us to get and find the niche that you want. Um, what I'd like to ask here, how many of you guys would use Scribble? I mean, if you could to make money to sell a product, to sell something you had to ship out, say. Or you had to ship it out, or do you? Or I'm just asking this because if you could make money using Scribble as a presentation software to sell a retail product, would you do it, or do you just want to stay stay digitally and sell digital content? So, let, I want everybody to please answer. If you could, just say yes, no, or you know, would you use the presentation software to sell a product?
And, and I don't even know what the product is. I'm just saying, okay, okay, good, good. Okay. Okay, we we keep going, keep going, baby. Come on. I want to get everybody here. We're getting a lot of people. Thank you. you. A lot of you guys are coming through. You are. Okay. Okay, this helps me. This helps me. Okay, I'm going to give the vote here. Mo most like, okay, let me see if we had one. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. Of course, you would like to sell a digital product, first of all. Let, let's just be honest here. But 90% of you said, yes, I would to make money. So that kind of changes things a little bit. I want you guys to think now what Scribble can do for you. Scribble now has just changed your mindset. Instead of just writing something for digital content, which is digital content, no matter what you write, you can now throw a product in there. And now it's a presentation software with something you can market online. And how-to books are huge. Huge. Training is huge. If you can train and you know something very well, that's probably the biggest money there is. But you always see that with even training, they're selling mostly digital books. But a lot of people now are selling their, their, their retail products from health. You always see nutrition and vitamin and health water and different things like that. And it goes on and on and on. And, and I think it's great. You do remember this. If you guys want to be able to sell something, and we're going to get into this further as we go forward, think of something you can sell that's lightweight. Don't sell a big, you know, like a bumper to a car <laughs> or something huge in a box because the shipping's going to hit you hard. It's going to kill you. You don't want to have shipping that shipping's astronomical. It has gone down, I gotta say, because I do a lot of I do a lot of um shipping from overseas and China and stuff, and it's gone down 75%. But get out of that. I want you to think that if you are selling something lightweight, something very light, something that can fit in an envelope or you know, an overnight priority, and hopefully you're making 40 bucks on it and you can send it out and make some cash. That's fine. Just don't go big on your stuff. Um and some of the examples I can say, okay, some examples, um, jewelry. A lot of people I know buy jewelry from China or they make it, they make it themselves. And I've seen it all the, from metal jewelry to acrylic jewelry, to, um, you know, earrings, to bracelets, that kind of stuff is big bucks. Jewelry sells, it keeps selling and it's lightweight. It pops in an envelope and boom, it goes out and, you know, it's probably one of the biggest businesses online is jewelry. Um, so that's that's an example right there. That's something else that you could do. Now, there's other things that you can do that say that half of the size or a shoebox or less, something like that wouldn't be bad. You could do that. Just make sure that they're either paying for shipping or that you add the shipping in. Oh, there's a good trick here. You add the shipping in just to the cost. So drive the cost up of the product and say free shipping because 90% of the time, you know, as well as I am, when someone says free shipping, I buy. If, if I have to pay the shipping, I usually go to someone else. Ah, someone already said, I'm selling jewelry. I won't mention it, but uh, I'll just say, I'll just say, Jay, you're selling jewelry, Jay. No, I, I can say who's selling jewelry. Janet, that's wonderful. And Janet, do you do, do you make money selling jewelry? I just have to ask. You're already selling jewelry. So I'm going to take you as an example here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what I would say is that, let's just say jewelry. Let's say you're selling jewelry. It's easy to put a page together on jewelry within Scribble. Take some pictures of your jewelry. Put them on a page. Start saying, you know, what you have there, this and that. And then get yourself a YouTube channel and throw some videos up. And then throw your link to where the jewelry is because you're going to get traffic there or we're going to help you drive traffic to your YouTube is one of the best channels because it's pretty much free. Instagram doesn't cost you a dime and you can throw post after post after post. I get a ton of traffic from Instagram and I don't do it, but someone does it for me on my team and we get a ton of visitors to the, to our websites from Instagram and it doesn't cost a dime. So that's just another idea for you guys, uh, you know, to be able to do it. Ah, okay. You're selling. Okay, I won't mention what kind of jewelry. I don't want everybody else to get into it. Um, but you can customize it. So you customize 
jewelry and things like that. That is great. That is wonderful. So jewelry is one of them. Does anybody else? I have examples too, but if you guys have other examples, um, that is that is great. Now, a lot of people will source products from China and I just want to give you an idea. If you guys ever source a product, of course, you're going to use Scribble as part of your presentation software and part of your marketing and things like that. But if you do, you always want to set, try to sell something that no one else is doing. If you're the first one through the gate, you're going to sell a ton. And then everybody else, after they see your product, they're going to copy you. Uh, they're going to take your product and you're going to see 30 other people within six months to a year selling your product. And that's just the nature of the beast. It does happen like that. And I've sold on Amazon like that for years. I was one of the first people to um, buy different things online. I remember we bought, what was it? We bought bamboo bowls, which we never would have thought of. This was years ago. But, oh, my God, they sold like hot. We couldn't keep them in. And it lasted for about three months. I think we were only paying 10 or $15, and they were going for like 50 and made a healthy profit. But sure enough, everybody else started selling those bulls. Everybody, and then finally, we just had to get out of it because the profit started dwindling. So it is a um, a different thing to do. And someone here, Eddie, just asked, "Would we use Pinterest?" And you know what? I need to understand Pinterest better. But Pinterest works. I just heard this from one of my clients. They use Pinterest, and it works. And Pinterest, you do the pin, and I don't know how it really works, but it works. And Pinterest works pretty well. Etsy works well, guys. Etsy is a good little platform. Etsy works really well. And like I said, that big old uh, old gentleman eBay, that thing keeps selling too. I don't know how, but eBay does keep selling. Um, so there's there's different platforms. They're not there's not a lot of them out there, but there is a few. Amazon is difficult. I can't tell you enough. Amazon used to be the home run of all home runs. It's still good if you have the right product and you get in there and no one else is selling it, you'll you'll do a home run. But if you're marketing what other people are marketing, Amazon can beat you up. But if you have a new product, I got to tell everybody, new products win. If you have something no one else has, you're going to hit the home run. You're going to be able to do it and really make your money. Um, yes, you can go to Pinterest and find niches. And that's a good idea. That's a very good idea because Pinterest is very creative. People, you go in there and you see what they're they're pinning and things like that. And it really starts spiraling out of control. One thing that I've done, you guys, um, and this is something you guys need to do too. When you see, say Pinterest, or, you know, and editing's bringing this to me right now. And it's really great, great idea. When you see a product out there, sometimes spin the product. And I've done this before where you get an idea on a product and you think, is there a product similar, but it has a little twist to it. And sure enough, you can find it or you can get it created. I, I know I'm serious here. You can get it created. Then you're the first guy on the block and it's so unusual. People buy it. And we've done some stuff where um, like, like if you source from Alibaba or, you know, whatever, which I have for years, they'll do anything for you. You, you know, you're the king when you go to those websites because you say, you have this, but I want it made like this. And they say, well, you need to buy 100 pieces then. I Okay, because, you know, some of those products are only a buck. So it's like you spend 100 bucks and they'll give you 100 of these products and you're selling them for 12 bucks. Um, and you say, please make it different and do this. And that's, it's just different ideas. Don't take no for an answer with whatever you do. It's just like when you're marketing to these companies, like I said, the insurance companies, the restaurants and the cafes, go in knowing. Don't go in scared or don't go sit in your car and look at the door and, and thank God I'm not going to go in. Just walk through the damn door and say, hey, is the manager here? Is the owner here? Hey, I'm so-and-so. Um, I want to show you something that I did for you and do a little one page demo form and maybe something that they can see. That's what I do is I'll set up their YouTube channel or I'll set up their website. Um, and it's good if you know the people, kind of, if you been, if you go to their restaurant or go to their business or use them. And a lot of times, if you do a little demo form with like a watermark on the page or something like that, um, then they can't steal it from you or anything like that and say, I made this for you. You know, I'm wondering if you guys want to do it. That's what I've done. And that's how I've made thousands of dollars. I do little demo pages and then all of a sudden I, I show it to the people, show them what I've done. And they pretty much go, Wow. I'll take it. I get a YouTube channel and I get a Gmail and I get videos on YouTube that you made for me. And look at my employees. And I've got a 
10 page um, presentation software of my business. Boy, this is cool. And if you charge someone only two, 300 bucks, depending on how much money they have, if they're a little mom and pop, you're going to go down. If they're a huge corporation, drive it up, drive the, 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 the money up. You know, it just, it is what is in demand. And that's how I do it. I just got to tell you, it's the analogy. Don't sit in your car and look at the door and think, am I going to go in or am I going to drive away? Make up an excuse here. Don't ever think that way. Even if you're on the phone and you're communicating with people, be it an email and things like that, you ha the only way you're going to do it is if you're confident and you, like if you write an email to someone saying, I really want to do this for you guys. I think it's the best choice for you. And I think you'll like my service. Don't think, don't say something like, um, would you like, just say, I know you need some help here and I'm going to help you through this. And I just did a demo for you uh, and you guys are going to love what I did. So try to drive it where you guys are, have, you know, take some ownership and don't kind of him and haw. I'm, I'm just telling you that from experience, just really know what you're doing in today's world. Um, it's going to get more and more difficult for people to work regular jobs at businesses. We know that we all do. So we're at the right place being online. We've got to be able to, you know, use our brains, use our noggins here and be able to get out there and um, push the limit. So what I'd like to do is next week, think of niches you guys would like to market to, be it a business, be it a book, bring something to me. And just, and if you don't want me to mention your name or what the niche is, I'll kind of twist the niche up so I'm not giving other people the same idea. And I'll just say, you know, I'll just I'll just twist it up or, or say it without saying it, because I don't want everybody to know your niche either, because I know people need to protect their businesses and protect what they're doing. Just just as much as I protect uh, you guys from everybody else, you'll never see me um, trying to bring you guys into another program or another business. I say this over and over. Uh, this is you know, this is a deals company, his data. And, you know, you always get people that want to come in when they're training and they may want to, you know, hey, I'm going to use these people for my own business. You'll never see that from me. I'm not. Um, it's not my way and I don't need it. <laughs> I have a huge database on my own and um, I love it. But we need to show you guys how to build your databases and reuse what you're doing uh, to go forward. So Scribble is your platform. It is your front end and it is something that you guys need to really um, get into and really start using the tools. Who's brand, who, who, uh, who doesn't know how to use the tools on this call? Can anybody say that? Because we're going to get back into it and do some training. Does anybody really need some help with some of the tools or are you guys getting into it and do you guys understand it? If, as you guys are answering, I'm going to take a quick drink of coffee. Hang on. Okay, there's a few people. Most of you guys know the software pretty good. That's cool. That's okay. No, no, we'll be training on it again. Yes, we will. We'll be helping you out. There is no doubt. We do have a lot of videos. If you guys go to the YouTube channel for Scribble, we have tons of videos where we've trained through the last uh, year of many different things that we will show you and what we've done here. But I do understand... More and more, every call that I do with you guys, I'm trying to understand uh, where people's heads are. I've always known, but I really got to push the envelope. It, we got to monetize everything that we're doing here. Like like uh, last week, we had um, dear Tracy. I keep bringing Tracy up, and she brought her her um, her ebook, so to speak, script for like a movie or for like a Netflix or or you know basically for Hollywood or for for the media. And it's wonderful. It's a wonderful story. And we did a little hot seat with it. It wasn't really a hot seat because it was so damn good. We just blew through it. But it was really, really good. So, you know, that's the kind of stuff I like to see people really go to. And if you're not writing a story, just get a presentation together. What I did when I wrote presentations for business is I went and took information from their website and I redirected it. I took, you know, snapshots. And, and you can make the text real big and say, look at their you know, look at their dinner menu, <laughs> you know, whatever you're doing, make it big, bold words and put a few pictures of the waitresses and the waiters and the owners and the cash registers and, you know, do a YouTube channel. And, and it, you guys think what I'm saying here is hard. It's not. I, do, I can do all this stuff that I'm talking to you about easily within a few hours. 
within, you know, we could have something put together really, really nice within four hours. And yeah, maybe we'd have to get in the next day and edit it a little bit and go forward. But they're the easiest. They're by far the easiest things to make money, in my opinion, because the content is basically true fact of nature. It's just like this is the owner and these are the employees and this is what they sell. Look at this. This is what they have. So you really don't have to be creative. All you got to do is kind of ask the questions and answer the questions by yourself. <laughs> Look in the mirror and just keep going. I mean, really, it's easy. It's one of the easiest things for me to make money with is a business because you really don't have to go too much into depth. Now, if you're doing a how-to book and you want to train people on motivation or life in general, or you want to show them a national park in Utah that you've been to and you want to show them how cool it is and and why you need to go there. Um, the reason I, ch I chose Utah is I did go to a park one or a couple times called Moab. And if you've ever been to Moab, give a thumbs up because I've been to a lot of national parks. But Moab in Utah is one of the most spiritual, coolest parks you'll ever see in your life. You'll just you'll be blown out of your mind. But it's very cool. Moab is in Utah and it has the the rocks and the red rocks and all the cool, you know, the rocks balancing on top of another rock and these huge holes that 747s could fly through with rocks around them. But it's just one of those really cool parks. So you could write on anything. So I'm just trying to give you guys ideas. Write something to get your 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 motivation going and and really think hard. Really think hard. Someone said they went there ah a few years ago, huh? Okay. Yeah, that was a few years ago. Um, over, over, yeah, that's a long time. 50 years back. Wow. I don't think it's changed much. I think it took millions of years to actually create that park, but, um, uh, very cool. If you get a chance, anybody go look at Moab, it's spelled M O A B go online. If you're in other countries, you know, which we have a lot of people here. O M O A B Mo Ab. Just look at pictures of it. And, you know, it is, it is true. When, when you get there, it's just, I've seen a lot of stuff, but that's crazy. It was crazy. It's, it's just a lot of fun. So get a chance to go do that. And that's cool, Janet. That, that is really cool that you had been there. That's cool. Um, so, so your, your goal for next week, you guys have, um, I'm giving you a, uh, you know, some homework here. I really need to have some of your, if you guys really want to start making some money, bring the ideas. Don't be don't be naive or don't be scared. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Bring me something and I'll help you guys through it as we're on the call here. Everybody's pretty good here and your niche isn't going to fit for the next person. Most of the times everybody's niches is built for them. But if you want to do a business in town, everybody lives in another town. Everybody has different businesses. So, you know, no one's going to take your idea. And if you're worried about that, we won't mention it. I'll, I'll see it. If you guys have a great idea that someone else, I'll just try to keep it as discreet as I can. But I can help you out. And what we'll do is I'll choose, I'll try to choose a couple of you next week if you guys bring the niches. And then we're going to go online live. And I'm going to start building that niche out. I'm going to show you some tricks and some ideas on what you do, need to do. Within the hour, we could have some... Um, really fantastic stuff working for you. I mean, the businesses and things like that are so easy if you guys want to try to do that. It doesn't matter though. Bring me something that'll stump me. Um, you know, if it's something I don't know, I'll find out. I'll find out about it and I'll make sure that we we create that niche and go forward. The whole thing is, is just, um, we you know, in the day we didn't have the search engines and all the stuff. 20 years ago, it wasn't as robust as, as it is today. We can find anything on our phones or on the computer, and then we can twist it up. It's a good idea for you guys to go in there and take content and then rewrite it. You know, copy someone's paragraph, then completely go in there and rewrite it. You know, a lot of times that's what people will do. And it's okay. Just don't use the same exact words because plagiar you don't want to plagiarize. Um, but it's easy. And, and, you know, say it from the heart. When you do do it, uh, let me see something here. Um, okay, yeah, let me see here. I'm going to put something here to everybody so you guys can see this. Hang on a second. I'm going to give you guys the link. So hang on, here we go. Hopefully, this will go to everybody. Okay, do you guys all see that? 
did you guys all get it's scribblebookteam at gmail.com scribblebookteam at gmail.com so make sure you guys get that okay cool everybody got that that's great so we really want to do an about face guys gals <laughs> everybody we got to do an about face you guys have done some great work you guys have done some great stuff but you're not making money and there's a reason for that you're at the door and you don't know how to open that door to let the you know money come through the door and that's where we need to change it now we need to change it immediately for everybody we need to change your mindset we need to change who you are who i am who everybody is and i mean that in a good way and i'm not just saying it because there's nothing you can't market i have been in business for so long and i i you know I work for companies out of China and I work for several companies out of the United States and I travel around. I consult for this company and that company. And um, I love it. And I do things like this, the training for Scribble and a deal just to keep my mind going and keep everything. And it gets, it gets me really motivated and it gets me going to the point where it helps me create more products, more presentations to make more money. So the more I do, the more I make. And that's the same thing with you guys. Um, let me see. Someone else here says, I like my niche, you know, managing on the clients, you know, parenting managers. That's a great niche. Definitely. If you guys are trainers, how to sell, 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 sell. So if you have something you really know and you want to do a how to book, I'll help you out with that, too. So bring something next week. I really want you guys to try to throw something at me and I'll try to help you build it real quick. So it's an opportunity for you all. And listen, we got the whole group here can chime in too and say, hey, why don't you add this? Why don't we add that? And if you guys, everybody's so good here that if you guys ever need some real skilled help, we could always bring a niche in and we could have a couple of us team members work, you know, with the collaboration and just throw some great ideas at you to get you kickstarted. Because uh, that's what the team is all about here is really helping you guys do this. Now we're going to do be doing more training. We're going to get back into Scribble and we're going to get into the tools again, and we're going to, you know, redo and go forward with some of the different stuff. But I think it's a good idea. I want some of your niches, and that is some of the training that I can do live. If I can't finish them next week, we'll carry it on the next week and the next week because that's probably some of the best training. Because if you guys see us live doing something that can help you monetize, like I'll help you get your, you know, I'll help you show you how to get your YouTube channel. How We'll do the Gmail account. I'll show you how to do the flip book and the video. Um, it's easy. You just got to do it. And then once you do it, then I'll show you how to, you know, format it, edit it, do all that good stuff as you're going forward. It's really not hard. You guys can do this, you know, all day long. And if you think, oh man, this is too much for me. It's not, it's not. And if you want to do it in the comfort of your home, at least bring something to us where we can give you enough ideas where you can go back home and spend the next week or two putting it together. Um, that's fine. Or you can rush it out and do it within a couple hours or in an afternoon and then tweak it as you go and then go forward. The whole, the hardest part, is not creating the presentation or creating the business. The hardest part is selling it. And a lot of times people won't take that next step to, to speak to someone or, or do that next level where you got to get it out there and show it to people. Because like I said, you can have the best website in the world, but it won't make a dime unless you're driving traffic to it. And that's where you really need to change. And that's where we're going to come in and help you also. So we really need to um, so do it. So next week, bring the niche. I'm going to name that next week. Bring the niche, baby. We need that. That'll be the title for next week so we can um, make you some money. And just give me an idea. When you bring your niche, just if you're doing something, just give me a little outline of what's kind of going on. And, you know, say, okay, the niche is about a business in so-and-so city. Uh, so many employees, everybody's happy. I, I don't care. Just give me a little so I can kind of run with it and then do it quickly. It's easy. It is so damn easy. And and for the and if you really need some help, um, I'll be there for you. If you guys really are close to selling it or making it happen, um, I, I'll I'll do as much as I possibly can. I can't be there in the hometown with you trying to market the business. But if they need an email from your partner or something like that, just giving them some overview, I'll do what I can. 
I, I truly will. I'll do what I'll be your partner if someone needs a follow up email or saying, hey, you know, this and that. And I can, you know, I, I can do whatever. I'm just thinking outside the box, but it does work. Sometimes a third party helps you because it gives credibility to who you are, and, you know, going forward. So, um, like I said, there is so many things that you guys can do to make money. Um, so you really want to you, you really do want to push the envelope. The hardest part, remember this, is people opening the door to talk to people or getting that autoresponder and knowing how to do the the email marketing and things like that. Email marketing takes a little time. It's not difficult, it's just time consuming. And we could I could completely do a video if we all wanted to say get an A Weber or or a get response account or some of these other there's so many autoresponders. I could literally jump in there and show you guys the basics within, you know, probably 15, 20 minutes of a video that I would do. You guys could all look at it, stop it, rewind it, do whatever, and copy it. And that's that's why we do videos. Video presentations are huge. They are huge. That's why we're doing Scribble. I like in Scribble, my favorite thing, and I keep saying this, is throwing it on YouTube, but I love the flipbook. The flipbook to me is very cool, and I like videos. And I like the PDF because the PDF, we can put links into it. The PDF is great for showing people information, deep information and training and things like that. It really works. The videos are better for quick, for, for quick, you know, quick hits to people to get them interested to come back. I think the videos are more used to get people interested. And then, of course, the PDFs and things like that show the details the deep knowledge that people need to read and see of whatever business that you're doing. That it's, it's very, very important. Now I haven't done this once or twice made money. I've done this dozens and dozens of times. I can honestly say that. Am I any different from you guys? Not a bit. You guys are, there's so many, and you guys are much smarter than me. I am just, I just, I just knock the door down. I've, I'm so used to it anymore. I just knock the door down, and most of my stuff is, is you know, mediocre. It's not great, but it works. It works. So you know, my thought pattern is here. It's, it's basically you, and the way you drive it through will take the sale. You could have the crappiest content sometimes and things like that, but if they like you, they're going to buy, or if they believe in you. But you got to be able to reach the level of the person that you're working with. You really do. You got to be able to hold your own if the business is, you know, if you need to go above or go below, you need to either rise above or dumb it down a little bit and, and become equal to whatever business that you're doing. Have confidence or lower it down a little bit where people can understand you if you're if you're running too fast. It's very important that you guys know this in any business. You usually can know a person within a minute. After talking to them, if you have a good little conversation, you can understand where they're at. You can get who they are kind of, and you can understand. You can really feel, you know, what's going on. Usually you, you can. So really um, take it there. Now, I love it that, um, Janet, you're selling jewelry. That was a great idea. Show me some stuff that you guys are marketing or trying to market right now, and just let me know. But next week, I want to take some of your niches and get you guys rolling and help you out. You guys got an opportunity here. I'll help you. Get your ebook, video presentations all going. We can do it quickly. Within an hour, you'll be blown away how much we can actually do. Th just throw it, throw it against the wall, and we'll take it and we'll run with it. So I hope you guys got a little bit out of tonight. I'm here to really help you guys out. Um, we need to really blow this out and start making some money. I want people to come back to the call saying, wow, I sold the book, I sold the presentation. I did it and it worked. It will work. It will work over and over again. It's just, you know, it's just taking it, taking it to the next level and um, going forward. Just have that drive. That's all I can say is just, just keep that drive and that motivation. Okay, everybody, we are at the top of the hour. Now, next week, if we have so many niches or whatever, we're going to do as long as we possibly can, but we're going to get as much done as we possibly can. And if this works and people bring their niches and we can help them, like I said, we'll continue on. You guys will get some great training because we'll jump in and we'll do the editing and we'll do the books and we'll do you know things like that as we can uh, go forward. What I'd like to do, if you guys do have a niche, please send your niche, if you can, to Scribble Book Team at gmail.com. Give me your information, your name, tell me the niche, and do me a favor. Give me your login to your Scribble account. 
because if you can, and the reason is then when I come in, I, if you guys want me to, I'll, you know, we'll pick a template and we'll run in it within, within your Scribble account. That would probably be the best thing. If you don't remember that, that's fine. We can do it in mine. Then we can copy the content over and send it to you or do whatever. You know, we can produce the PDF. Then you'll have to recreate it in your own system. But if you really want me to hit it and do it, send your information to scribblebookteam at Gmail. You guys got the email. Send it on. And uh, I'll do what I can within that hour. It's the easiest way for me to do it is to be in your system, of course. So we're going to run with it. So everybody, have a great week. We will talk soon. And I will see you next week on Niche Lesson Volume 1 next Tuesday. So we'll see you all next week. Everybody take care. Have a great evening.